Welcome back, welcome back. Now we're on task four. Task four is split into two parts, part A and part B. Part A, task 4A, is going to be where you develop your solution. This is where you're going to actually do the thing you said you were going to do in part three. Remember, part three was the planning. Part three was designing the solution. So pseudocode, flowcharts, decomposition diagrams. This is where you're going to actually sit down, use Python and program your solution. Just like before, because I want everyone to have context, I'm going to have my AI thing here on Microsoft Edge. Read the entire instructions for us and then I'll get into it. Set task brief. The design ideas for the flight prices comparison part of the solution that you worked on in task 3 have been reviewed by your manager. A senior developer has coded the solution and your manager has presented it to Quick Travel Limited. Since then Quick Travel Limited have requested some additional functionality to be added to further develop the solution. Activity the file task underscore 4a underscore data dot csv contains the data that will be used by the solution. The file task 4 underscore flight underscore prices dot py contains the code that the senior developer has produced. Develop the programming code for the data service so that it meets the new system and user requirements provided in the set task information. During development of the solution make sure that you consider the security requirements and use secure coding principles and practices to mitigate against potential threats and vulnerabilities. Ensure that your code is maintainable, readable and functional. Follow accepted programming conventions. During this task you do not need to formally document your TE. Outcomes for submission. Save your code as PDFs and as .text files. Save a working version of your solution as a .py file. All files should be saved in your folder for submission. Use this naming convention task for a code doc hash underscore registration number underscore surname underscore first letter of first name you may use any appropriate folder structure and naming convention to save the working version of the solution set task information quick travel limited has provided updated system requirements the updated requirements are the existing code provided allows users to select a destination and compare the pricing of flights from different airlines to that destination for a specified period of time the solution must also identify trends and patterns over time for though the most popular destination destinations, O commission earned from sales form different airlines, the solution must be secure. Quick Travel Limited have also provided user requirements for the solution. These are, be easy to use display information in a meaningful way make use of appropriate textual, numerical, and graphical output in a way that would be relevant to the end user. Quick Travel Limited has requested the following specific functionalities for the flight prices comparison solution. Trend analysis, identify trends and patterns in flight prices over time. Security, ensure the solution is secure. User-friendly interface, make the solution easy to use meaningful display display the information in a meaningful way in the task 4a folder so if you go back to your main folder structure if you go into task 4a you'll be greeted with three files this is the pdf i just read and the other two files you have a csv file and a python file these are the files you're going to use to come up with your solution to develop your solution the python file the second file here that's the one that you're going to program and you're going to need to import the csv file into your python program when we go back to our main folder and we go to task 4a these are the two files that we have so to view what's in these files i'm simply going to right click on it and go edit with notepad plus plus you might have a different option so just open it so you can view it you don't need to mess with anything in this file don't edit anything in this file directly whatever you need to do with this file you need to open it from your python environment so you need to import the csv file and work with it that way don't add any information to it whatsoever i'm going to close this because we don't really need to mess with this then i'm going to go to my python file i'm going to do exactly the same thing right click edit with notepad so this is what the python file looks like at the moment it has exactly 107 lines of code and if you go through it you, you'll start to see what the person before you has done now you need to go back read the requirements again and do exactly what you've been asked to do i'm not going to do this for this solution number one it's going to take me too long uh number two the code is going to change every single year you're never going to get the same thing but what you might get is you might get the same type of task where you have to import a csv file and do some fancy stuff with it what i would suggest is that you guys go away learn python look at the code that you've been given here learn how to import files learn how to visualize data uh, it's probably going to be your most likely going to be using something called matplotlib and there's also another one called pandas so i would go away and i would familiarize myself with those two things again i'll put them in the description and it's matplotlib one word then there's also another one called pandas just like a, a panda bear
I'm back on my mark scheme and this is the mark scheme, the section for part 4A. And as you can see, there's quite a bit here. So let me just quickly do an overview of what's here. So we have functionality, that's a maximum of six marks. Logic and programming structures, a maximum of three marks. Robustness, a maximum of three marks again. We have security, a maximum of six marks. Code organization, a maximum of eight marks. And I think finally we have down here, uh, user experience, a maximum of eight marks as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each of these and tell you roughly what should be there for each one.